Let's get it. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here in the Carolinas. And as always, we're so glad to see it. I do hope and pray everyone is well and that you too are able to get out and enjoy this day like I am. Not slobbering over on yourself. Huh. But that you're able to get out and get some of this fresh air, exercise, and sunshine. Like I said, I'm so glad to see it. Folks out here smoking in the middle of the park. That ain't cute. There's a park ranger right there inside the office. Ah, peoples. Like I like to call the bus folks. We set ourselves up for a downfall. And that's just like my text of the day or one of my texts for the day. And we'll read over it. I will quote it now, but I give you the exact places from. But my people perish or are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And see, I guess what's going on over there is our folks having a lack of knowledge that they can't be caught. <laughs> and that this ain't the place to be playing with these folks or them folks as I like to call them. But we'll get it. One day I, I pray, which most of us, well, I should say which some of us, which that's on my thought for today also, we're getting it. And we are the remnant that's called to the remnant. We're that small set aside group that's been called to reach the overall remnant that it is. Because all of us ain't gonna make it. It's a sad sound, but it's true. A lot of us are not gonna make it. And it looks like the park is full today. A lot of chaps, which I love to hear and see them enjoying themselves. It is absolutely gorgeous today. We have a great breeze blowing. The sun is shining bright. And the most high will, I'm gonna sit out here by the lake at least for a minute. with a different setup today. That's why I look so close. I don't have my selfie stick today. I broke one of my attachments to my camera, which they wear out to one of them hard plastic. But 
But all praises to the Most High. I want to thank Him for another great week we have together here in this secret place. But like I said before, we're able to get out, enjoy this beautiful day the Most High has made, rejoicing in it and being glad. And I'm glad not only to see this day being in the land of the living, but also being able to speak about the goodness of the Most High and all He's done for me. And yes, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank the Most High for saving me, Robert Holloway. Bobby Holloway. See, a lot of people didn't get up today with this on their tongue. Matter of fact, a lot of people didn't get up today. But I say a lot of people didn't get up with this on their tongue because they're not great. They really don't give the most high the praise. They give themselves the praise. They think they're doing it all by their efforts. Mm. All by their will and all by their power. And on the most part they are. I shouldn't say the most part, but in some ways they are. But the Most High is giving them the life and the breath to get up and to get out and do. And as I was speaking about our peoples over here, right at the front of the entrance of the lake, where everybody come in from the main parking lot smoking weed with all these chaps out here today. That is my thought for today. And it's a great example of what the Most High has put on my heart. Plus he got a pit bull not on the leash. <laughs> I ain't even see the dog until now. With all these children out here. <laughs> But we're going to the thought, and it is obey or perish. Simply obey or perish. And the script I was speaking on is Hosea 4 and 6. My people perish or are destroyed, like I said, for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected my knowledge, I will also reject you. That you shall be no priest to me seeing that you have forgotten the law of the Most High Elohim, Yahuwah, I will also forget your children. Mm -hmm. And see, that's a bad way to go. See, it's bad for the Most High to forget us, but just like our ancestors or forefathers said, they told Pilate, let the blood be on us and our children. Because Pilate didn't want to mess with him. Pilate was like, nah, this is an innocent man. I don't find no fault in him. And plus, his wife done told him, don't, don't mess with this man. Leave that man alone. <laughs> Leave him alone. You don't want to have nothing to do with him. I have been troubled in dreams concerning this fellow. Leave him alone. But that's why our people are where we're at today, partly. And a lot of it is because of our own disobedience. After hearing the truth, we want to stay right there in that state of mind of hard head, rejecting the Most High. Like he said, because you rejected knowledge, which is the truth, which is his truth, which is him. See, when you reject him, there ain't nothing else for you but the other direction. Pardon me. Mm. I am warm already and sweat. Yeah, I'm going to read over my notes, a few of my notes. Last Friday during my recording, I said that some of us had it right while we were still in the church. At that time, I got off to another idea. However, what I want to come back and say is that we had it right because we were wholeheartedly seeking the Most High. 
I'ma let that sink in a minute. And I get this idea from a moray that said the reason that the Most High awoke us first and drew us out of the church or the church and other religions is because we were wholeheartedly seeking his face for the truth. We were seeking after the knowledge and we were doing our best to keep his commandments, even in the church. See, some of us believe that if you are keeping the commandment of love wholeheartedly, then you are gonna keep the rest of the Most High's commandments that he gave us. And it's simply because you're loving the Most High with all your heart, your whole, your soul, your body, and your, your spirit. You're loving him wholeheartedly. And when you're doing that, you're not gonna do anything that's against his will for your life. So you're automatically lining up with the commands and Torah. And there are still some of us folks in the church seeking the most high with all of our, well, with, with our hearts. And I can't say with all of our hearts because we're still rejecting the truth. And that's why I didn't put, we're seeking him wholeheartedly because I would be lying. Because by now, most, if not all, the preachers that's out there, they know of the awakening they know that we are the real people of the Most High, the children of the Most High, His people, the Hebrews of the, the Word, the text, the Bible. See, they know this. And for them not to preach it right now, they're damning themselves to hell and their people, who are basically, well, we'll get into that. Well, I'm gonna share this testimony of a um, conversation I had with one of my friends he said that he was telling his friend about the truth and his friend which is a preacher also he said man I know all of that he said but I can't pe preach that to my people and my friend said well man you know the truth why 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 can't you preach it to your people or to the people he said man my people will leave me if I try to preach that to them and I got very upset at that time and kind of said some choice words over the phone, but I had to, to release it because I was upset and angry and I wanted to expose that fellow for what he said and basically call him out because of his words, but that, that's not my job, the most I wouldn't let me. He wouldn't let me put him on blast like I wanted to. But I, I shared that because this is the mind state of our people or the Most High's called out priest. Just as we read in Hosea 4 and 6, I will also reject you that you should not be a priest to me. And see, it trickles, it trickles down from the head to the um what what the text? Just like Aaron's beard, it trickles down from the those that's called to teach and preach the word on down to the people. And see what I wrote in well we're gonna go on the read. And what I said was at that time, I had gotten off to another idea. However, what I wanted to come back and say is that we had it right because we were wholeheartedly seeking the Most High while we was in the church. And see, the thing about it is, the church is, was, and is the foundation for truth but the church has gotten off because of money because of fame because of ego just like with this fellow I'm, I'm just not talking about that's ego pardon me 
that's why he called us out of that darkness and into the kingdom of his dear son into the kingdom of light we are that true remnant Paul spoke by in Romans 11 and it says I asked then has the most High rejected his own people the nation of Israel us Hebrews of course not I myself am an Israelite a descendant of Abraham and a member of the tribe of Benjamin no the most high has not rejected his own people whom he chose from the very beginning <laughs> from the very beginning do you realize what the scriptures say about this Elijah the prophet complained to the most high about the people of Israel and said most high they have killed your prophets and torn down your altars. I am the only one left and now they are trying to kill me too. And do you remember the Most High's reply? He said, no, I have 7,000 others who have never bowed down to Baal. It is the same for today, for a few of the people of Israel have remained faithful because of the Most High's grace his undeserved kindness in choosing them and choosing them because they chose him they were seeking him with their whole hearts and since it is through the most high's kindness then it is not by their good works for in that case the most high's grace would not be what is really what it really is free and undeserved So in this situation, most of the people of Israel have not found the favor of the Most High they are looking for so earnestly. A few have the ones the Most High has chosen, but the hearts of the rest were hardened. So that lets you know right now that the most, like the text says, many are called, but few are chosen. And see the reason folks are not chosen to be the remnant or to be the called out ones that sent out to the remnant is because their hearts are hard. They have hardened their hearts and refused knowledge like the text says. A few have like we just read the, the ones the Most High has chosen but the hearts of the rest were hardened. As the scripture says the Most High has put them into a deep sleep. Oh boy. As the scripture says, the Most High has put them into a deep sleep. To this day, he has shut their eyes so they do not see and closed their ears so they do not hear. Mm -hmm. And see, that has been my prayer for Israel that the Most High would give us eyes to see, ears to hear, a heart to perceive, and a mouth to speak this truth that they have rejected. And now these are back to my notes. If we don't study to show ourselves approved, rightly dividing the word of truth, we will become like our forefathers Paul was just referring to, as well as a lot of us folks today, us folks today. They are trying to tear down the righteous because they are loyal to the wicked. Mm. And that's the idea the Most High gave me over in the morning. He woke me up with that idea. And he was like, my people are trying, he said they are trying to tear down the righteous because they are loyal to the wicked. Mm. And pardon me for all this spitting. My mouth is so wet this today. Like I said, I started off slobbering on myself. <laughs> so you have to laugh at yourself sometimes in order to stay up and not get get into doubt and unbelief. Or oh, some kind of attitude or sadness. Because I thought I was over all that slobbering and stuff from that stroke. But every now and again, 
Well, I ain't gonna say that. But the Most High reminds me of that when I walk. Because I have a limp. I call it my pimp. <laughs> okay, let's get back to work. And that last tick, last note I read was they are trying to tear down the righteous because they are loyal to the wicked. There has, there has to become a willful desire to know the truth and be set free or be made free instead of continuing in willful ignorance. And that was the next thought he gave me after that one. He said there has to become a willful desire to know the truth and be made free instead of continuing in willful ignorance. And like I said, they are loyal to the wicked. So who is this wicked that they're loyal to? And then we went on to 2 Thessalonians 2, 9 through 12. This man will come to do the work of Hasatan with counterfeit power and signs and miracles. And of course we know he's talking about the Antichrist or the Anti-Mishiach. But anybody who who's not representing the truth of the Most High, scripturally I say, is Antichrist. <coughs> Pardon me. Mostly he's, he's pro-money. <laughs> he will use every kind of evil deception to fool those on their way to destruction. Oh boy. He's gonna tell them every, every kind of lie and it's okay, do what you want, it's okay. Do what you feel, do as thou wilt. It's all right. You don't have to follow no kind of laws, statutes, and commands. Jeez, sweet Jesus paid the price for that. All of that is done away. He suffered the cross alone so the whole world might be free. Free to sin, do whatever they want as long as they show up on Sunday morning come on to that altar and say, I'm sorry, let me slap a little holy oil on your head and we'll be all right. Till next week, when you're hurting and feeling guilty and shame for doing the same thing over and over. And by listening to the pastor, those sins have turned into lasciviousness. Which is a hard word. That's when we get into sin and think we're okay. It's okay to do it. We're not seeking no more repentance. We don't even come to the altar no more seeking repentance, seeking to try to get cleaned up. And see, like I said, now don't get me wrong, there's good, most high fearing folks that are after the truth. They're after the most high's heart. They love him but their loyalties are in the wrong place. He will use every kind of evil deception to fool those on their way to destruction mm. because they refuse to love and accept the truth that will save them. No, they refuse the truth. They reject the truth. That's why them and their children have been rejected. And we see that till this day. Mm. So the Most High will cause them to be greatly deceived and they will believe these lies. Then they will be condemned for enjoying evil rather than believing the truth. Mm. And see, I don't want to be condemned for evil, for enjoying evil rather than believing the truth. And see, it's all about sacrifice. See, we, we, we got to know that we can't enjoy these lustful, evil, lustful, youthful lust and secret sins that we've been into our whole lives and think we're going to just be able to say, okay, fuck, Lord, forgive me. I'm sorry. Week after week after week after week, and it don't have any kind of um, repercussions to it. The text says you reap what you sow. When he knows my heart, God knows my heart. 
he loves me. He wouldn't cause me to suffer more or to go through more than I can handle. He loves me. I'm his child. Okay. <laughs> And I know I be picky because it's so, it makes me upset. Because I go thinking about that, that fellow I, I've been, um, I was talking about who said, I can't um, preach that to my people. Okay, so that now they're your people, huh? Now them your folks, huh? They ain't the most high children that you've been called to shepherd over. But you do it in dishonor. And see, then we went on the second, what I think that was 2 Corinthians 6, 14 through 18. If not second, it's first, which we would know that. But we'll put it in the in the um, description. And it says, be, not, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what common or what and what communion has light with darkness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what concord has Christ with Baal? Or what part had he that believeth with the infidel? And what agreement had the temple of the Most High with idols? That's what we're talking about. For you are the temple of the Most, for you are the temple of the living Elohim. As the Most High has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, says the Most High, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Most High Almighty. And my actual text for today was Psalms 119 and 16. And it says, I hasten and do not delay to keep thy commandments. So like I was saying in all of this, it's a personal choice that we all have to make and we have to decide to obey the Most High or actually perish or be destroyed. And seeing the times we're living in now, is not a lot. We have to make that decision now. Like the text says, choose you this day who you will serve. And that's Joshua 24, 14, and 15. Now therefore fear the Most High and serve Him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away the gods of your fathers. Serve you serve beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Most High. And if it is evil in your eyes to serve the Most High, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your fathers serve in the region beyond the river, or the Elohim of the Amorites in the land, or the gods of the Amorites whom, whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Most High. I'm going to let that be my time today. I had planned to do a workout today, but it was a thing where we went yesterday and basically got a workout in moving our storages from one spot to another spot because they were both getting too full. We just upgraded to a larger storage, so Basically, I believe I got in like a mile and a half yesterday with probably about 200 squats, I would say, because of what I was lifting. And we was lifting a lot of boxes. I know I lift like five to 10 book boxes yesterday. So I am very sore and I was able to get my Epsom salt bath in yesterday. So that gave me a little relief today, but I don't I don't think it be, would be wise to jump right out there today, starting a week off with only one day of rest. 
even though I feel like I could jump on that bike and do about five miles, I'm gonna just take it easy today and jump back out there strong tomorrow. But all praises to the most high. So stay up, keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom. Like I was saying, our folks, But like I said, we all given a choice. And we all have to make it. Because we are running out of time. <laughs>